Welcome, friends and fellow collectors. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new for 2023 1-50 to scale Diecast Masters Highline Series Caterpillar D5 LGP VPAT Dozer. This is one of a handful of new D5 dozers that are coming out, including a set of forestry or fire dozers as well as an additional d5 coming up later this year the item number is 85951 as you can see written on the white outer shipping box let's begin the unboxing all you have to do is either cut or remove one tape on one end of the box then you are greeted with a nylon bag which protects the model and crucially protects the model's metal tin from any damage that may occur during shipping. Here we go. There's the model's actual box. You can see the picture of the model on the side. Again, here's your item number, cat logo, 1 to 50 scale, 14 and up. These are adult collectibles. These are not in any way considered toys. Here's a nice picture of the new cat D5, which is just like the old cat D6, but we're not going to go into that. And it's the Cat D5 LGP VPAT Dozer. VPAT, again, for the new people, is an acronym for Variable Pitch, Angle, and Tilt, which describes the movement capabilities of the blade. On the back, yet another picture of the machine at work, as well as, feel free to pause the video right now for those interested in learning about the machine's dimensions, operational specifications, and engine details. For the rest of us, we will continue with the unboxing process. We will open the top of the metal tin, we are greeted with some paperwork. This piece of paper shows us how to fit the operator inside the cab, should you want to do that, and I will show you step by step how to do that process, as well as the updated Diecast Masters CAT catalog, so you can keep track of what's coming and all of the models that you'd like to pick up from Diecast Masters. Top layer of black foam rubber has our operator figure, a black plastic tweezers, You'll notice these holes, these are intended as finger holes. Stick your finger in the supplied finger hole. Lift up carefully, removing the black foam rubber. Finally, we can see our cat dozer seated very nicely and cozy inside. Be careful what you grab onto. There are some potentially fragile pieces. The tracks do have plastic protection around them to, once again, Add an additional level of protection during shipping to make sure the tracks don't separate. Carefully remove those. When you have done that, you are ready to display your model. There is only one bit of optional assembly that you need to do, and that is removing the top portion of the cab, which is plastic as you can see here. It flies off with relative ease, obviously. You can use the supplied black tweezers or just use your fingers, put your operator figure inside the cab put the top of the cab back on and it will click on as seen here there that's all you need to do for assembly let's now take a look at the details and decals so this is a excellent representation of the new cat d5 by diecast masters so you have the new d5 next gen logo here the caterpillar modern hex logo here and lgp in the track frames, you can see that there are small, tiny graphics, and those are tie-down points and safety graphics. Looking at the tracks closer, you can see the detailing inside the elevated drive sprocket, as well as the bolt detailing on each of the track frames. You have a side engine door here, which can be opened with the help of a pointer. Opening that allows us to see the detail inside with various different colored components. We'll close that back up. Moving towards the rear. You have a nice array of accessory surprises here. Various filler cap lids, a folding down stair, which you can see here, which you can raise and lower. A hand shovel is included on the back of the cat dozer, along with a three shank ripper and black hydraulic lines going to the hydraulic cylinder. There is also a single black windshield wiper on the back of the cab, a large air conditioning unit, as well as hand and safety railings all alongside the top of the cab. This side is very similar to as the left side of the machine, but let's open the right side door here. And again, you are greeted with some detail inside. Closing that back up. Moving along to the front of the dozer. 
here is your VPAT blade, which does have bolt detailing on the bottom as well. You can clearly make that out. Your engine cover has the new Cat Modern Hex logo, various hand and safety, uh, safety hand railings, your exhaust stack. And that brings us back to where we started. Let's take a look at most of the functionality now on the model. You can move the tracks by hand as they are very, very free rolling. Also, if you have a surface with some texturing on it, such as this absolutely disgusting cover I have here, you can see that the tracks will roll very, very easily. Moving towards the rear of the machine, I already showed you the folding down access stair, but let's, why not, let's do it again. And we can also see that the ripper does raise and lower as well. If you want to put it down to its fullest extent, it is strong enough to hold the back of the tractor off the ground. And to really show off to your friends, let's lower the blade now, where the entire machine is tracks free and able to rotate off the ground. Moving towards the front, the VPAT blade, also known as a six-way blade. It will raise up to here, which isn't bad. I'd like to see a little bit more. You can angle it left to right and also tilt it up and down. It really excels at the bottom end of things, however, as you saw before, where you can get an aggressive cut angle. Some of the other features of the model include the two opening engine panels that I've showed you, but for last, let's do it again. We go on the other side as well. You can also open up the operator's door. This is a little bit more difficult to do. So we're going to cheat and do this the quick way for the review. Let's take the top of the cab off. From the inside, we will push the doors open. And they open on both sides. So that will do it, collectors. My review of the brand new for 2023 Diecast Masters Highline Series 1-50 to scale Caterpillar D5 VPAT Dozer. The LGP undercarriage has been faithfully recreated. Most of the features and the working functions of the real dozer have been implemented in 150th scale. If you are looking for a new Cat D5 for your 150th scale collection, look no further. This is a brilliantly executed model and priced affordably, and you will not be disappointed to have one in your collection. Until next time, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all very, very much for watching. If you found this review insightful or helpful, please let me know down in the comments section below, and also if you'd like to add one of these to your collection. Finally, before we sign off, take a look at your screen right now where you will see some other suggested links for recently filmed Diecast Masters product reviews. So, if you're looking for any of their other new releases, I strongly encourage you to consult those reviews. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.